Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Today we'll look at Leon Dupree's, so let's jump right in. If you're not familiar with Leon, he's the pastor at Encounter Church in South Africa and teaches things like how to see visions. Just like gifts of the Holy Spirit, you cannot teach this kind of stuff. If God pours out his spirit on someone to have a vision, then they'll have a vision. But this isn't something that you can learn. You can see here that the prophetic is one of his focuses, and of course he's got a school where you can learn to prophesy as well. You can find lots on his false teachings online, but today we'll look at something that's just kind of creepy and totally unbiblical. I have discernment. Um, Prophet, can a person who is out of their body harm us or can they just spy on us? Uh, good question. I'm not so much into that. Look, I'm not so much into that. Um, I'm sure people that are specializing in Satanism or the occult or some might know more. Um, I have done it uh, before I was saved. I have experienced it after I was saved with others coming to me. Uh, as far as I know, they've just been monitoring. If they can do damage, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, monitoring is already damaging. But they can definitely monitor. Because as a prophet, let me tell you, I can sit here right now. I can leave my body by my will, walk out of here, and go see what my wife is doing, and come back. I can sit, Russell, I can sit right here. I'm allowed as a prophet. And get into your house and see what you're doing. He says that as a prophet, he's allowed to leave his body and go and spy on people. Folks, this is next level nonsense and stuff that we don't even hear people teaching in Bethel. This is called astral projection and is of the occult. I used to have friends that did this and tried to teach me as well. Thankfully, I was never successful. You notice that he provides no Bible verse to back this practice up. We'll talk more about this in a minute, but in this next clip, he'll admit that astral traveling is witchcraft, but if he's doing it as a prophet, then it's okay. I'm saying, I'm gonna say it again. If I'm astral traveling, it means a witch can come and kill me and cut a silver cord, which they do in the astral traveling, and it will or should kill me. So if I'm not a prophet, if I'm doing it by witchcraft powers, why don't they come and kill me? Are you guys with me? As to traveling, you have to do certain things to make it to pass. As a prophet, I can walk here and I have, while I'm walking, I can look at somebody and if the, if the Lord has a word for them, by the grace given to me, He will show me certain things in their life. So let's say I can walk past or I can walk here. I don't have to sit still and meditate and, uh, you know, however, whatever they do. And uh, while I'm walking and talking to you, I can maybe see something that has happened yesterday or something that is happening in that house. So like he said, with this practice, there's a cord attached to your real body and your spirit body. And if that cord is cut, you can die. My friends of past said that when you are in the spirit realm, you can see other people that are astral traveling because they have this certain kind of glow to them. I'm sure there's people listening now that have experienced this in their past and could probably explain this a lot more than I can. But one way or another, this is not of God, period. Yes, the Apostle Paul had an experience that he explained in 2 Corinthians, but even he said that he didn't know if it was in the body or apart from the body. And that's all he mentions, nothing to be gained from an out-of-body experience. This would fall into the category of sorcery, and it is to be avoided. If anybody calling themselves a prophet, pastor, or teacher of God's word is involved with this, they should be avoided at all costs. Anyhow, just a quick one today, but as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.